Between our two health centers, we serve 60% of the total population of Valley. We've been operating out of a modular unit since 2007. It's not big enough for what our patients need, and the demand is growing. You know, a lot of the physicians have either left the area or retired, so there's real family practice desert up here. So we are, a lot of times, the only clinic that people can come to. I'm able to work with families. I take care of infants, the elderly. In a full day, I will see anywhere between 20 and 24 patients. Having a small space limits the amount of medical services that we can provide to our patients. It's hard for patients because you don't plan when you have a crisis, right? One day I wasn't feeling that well and I went to Dr. Bermudez and she discovered that I had leukemia. She made sure that I rushed to the hospital. They're my angels because they saved me that day. We have very little space here right now, so we actually can't draw labs. If they have a chronic illness or they have cancer, it's very difficult to have somebody say, okay, I'm now gonna have to get into my car and drive 40 minutes or half an hour to get blood work. One of the challenges, at least for me, when I was going through what I was going through, they'd always send me for labs over the hill in Santa Rosa, and that was tough. The biggest challenge at the current health center is that we just don't have room for patients. We can't even get patients in for follow-up visits because we don't even have the number of exam rooms we need to provide the care that we want. And we can't expand any services, so it's really an issue for our patients. The other thing with this small space is that it's not soundproof. This is the provider's office, so obviously there's not room for two people in here. We also have the vaccines stored here, so every day I'm having the medical assistants come in and out, so there's no real privacy unless I shut my door. In the office there, to have a little more space, it goes with a little more privacy for the for the person going there, because there's times when, as a 56-year-old man, you walk in there and there's things you don't want everyone to hear. <laughs> and everybody hears it. It has a small town and then everyone's gonna know. <laughs> right now, we can't offer all the medical services we would like to, but to have a bigger center where they're gonna feel more supported and they're gonna have more services, they can start making changes in their life. And we wanna affect change in the whole family and the whole community. We're hearing more and more people who can't get appointments, having to travel long distances for care. We haven't been able to find a solution until now. We know that if we build this facility, we can provide that care for every member of this community who needs access. We are here in the heart of Calistoga. I'm standing in front of what will be an entrance to our beautiful new 11,000 square foot facility. We will be providing six exam rooms, five dental chairs, behavioral health, co-located services such as nutrition, clinical pharmacy, um, enrollment services. So our model is really a whole person care. It's easily accessible. It is centrally located. It's exactly what our community needs. That bigger location it would benefit the whole community. Everyone would benefit from it. I think our patients are grateful that we even exist. They're just gonna be so enthusiastic about having this clinic that's serving the community and helping them be healthier. It was great to know that that day Dr. Bermudez was there and knew what to do. As someone who has a business here and has made a home here and my four boys are from here, and to be here, Because of her, Dr. Bermudez, who just acted so quickly, when I didn't pay attention to her and then she took the initiative to call my wife, he needs to go now. How much other words can I say other than thank you and I'm glad that they're part of our community here locally.